Hello and welcome. This is going to be a really quick video about a successful uh, thermal hog hunt that I had. And uh, I did say hunt, so hunting, if that kind of stuff bothers you, you know, dead animals, animals getting shot, well, go ahead and hit the back button right now. And uh, otherwise, uh, hang on and enjoy. So I am going to talk a little bit about the equipment that I'm using and the setup, the scenario. Um, the rifle is a PSA Gen 3 AR-10 in 6.5 Creedmoor. Um, scope is a Pulsar Thermion XP-50. Uh, the scope is mounted via an American Defense Recon QD mount. Uh, the rifle now carries a Silencer Co. Omega 300 Suppressor. And then all of this is sitting in a bog pod death grip tripod. So a new piece of equipment that I'm using for the first time is the Convergent Hunting Solutions Bullet HP. This is a uh, e-collar, Bluetooth e-collar that works with an app on your phone. Now I'm going to, uh, I'm just started using it. So I'm going to have more information on that after I've had some time, um, in the field and I'll have an opinion, but so far so good. Uh, so that's, uh, again, first time using the convergent bullet in the field is uh, with this video. So I'll explain the scenario while you watch this deer walking around and I um, go through the different color palettes. Um, winds out of the south, probably three to five miles an hour, fairly steady. I'm due north of the feeder uh, by about 60 or 70 yards. Nothing is coming around to the feeders this time of year. Um, so there's corn on the ground after hours and marauding groups of pigs, uh, large sounders of pigs make their rounds and hit these feeders at night, usually somewhere between oh midnight and five o'clock in the morning. Now, I'm in a, the middle of a ranch, probably uh, several thousand acres, and um, there's no obstruction for animals. The Colorado River is a couple of miles due west to the right of what we're looking at here. And beyond that, 10 miles in any direction, south, east, north, uh, animals will not um, come across a fence, a road, or anything substantial of any way. So... They're free ranging, running all over the place. My plan is to wait until it gets dark and then start playing some uh, pig and hog sounds through the convergent bullet to hopefully convince the uh, pigs running around that someone may be after their corn that's on the ground, make them greedy and have them come in earlier than the uh, midnight time that they have usually been showing up. So just after dark, I start playing some very low um, volume sounds. And lo and behold, before you know it, I start seeing some um, start seeing some action off probably 150 yards out through all the trees. I can actually see something going on back there. So at first, I'm not really sure what it is. It could be deer, could be pigs. Could be Audad. We have Audad running around the ranch. But uh, after just a few moments, they start making their way over to the feeder. And I quickly figure out that uh, it's pigs. And uh, looks like my plan has worked. So usually when a sounder of pigs shows up at a feeder, um, the first pigs in are the little guys. And um, they're greedy. They come running in. And then uh, after they're there, uh, the larger pigs, and usually the sows, will start showing up. And my plan was to wait for the larger pigs to show up, let these little guys hang out for just a little bit. And uh, as it turns out, um, the, uh, the first group of pigs was actually a little bit bigger than what I was expecting. And uh, I was trying to be patient and waiting for the larger pigs, but uh, I was also concerned about the wind shifting. It never fails. Uh, wind shifts in, in different directions. And if that were to happen, 
all of these pigs would be gone and I'd have no shot opportunity at all. So here we go. So if you notice here, I was trying to line up two pigs in a row, which caused me to center punch that first pig, which was not a perfect shot, but uh, put her down anyway. So as I approached, um, I did take my time and continue to scan for any heat signatures. I did not expect to see um, any more pigs or anything else for that matter, but I didn't want to be surprised, so I approached slowly and continued to scan just to be sure. So this one turned out to be about a 75-pound sow. Um, pretty much perfect size if you're looking for some back straps or hams. Um, yum! So that's my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I want to thank you for watching. Um, I do have other videos, uh, night vision, thermal hunting, fishing, uh, general family outdoors, even cooking. If that type of stuff interests you, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, more stuff to come in the near future. But again, thank you for watching. And please go ahead and check out my other videos.